Now I told y'all through the whole video that I was gonna look like a bad bitch in the end and I did and if y'all want to see how I got this hairstyle stay tuned for my next video but for this video y'all gonna see me dye my hair purr I'm a bad bitch you can't kill me Hey guys, so it is currently 5.50 p.m. Wednesday, April 14th. First and foremost, I know I look a hot mess right now, but it's okay because by the end of this video, y'all gonna see a bad bitch and that's on period, okay? I showed y'all the hair. So even though it's just not getting done, Wednesday, April 14th, it's been in the works. Okay, let's start there. It says red highlights and it's for dark hair only, as you can see. Your girl got dark hair. 40 volume developer and baby, you in business. This right here is pretty much the color of the hair. It's like a burgundy-ish reddish and that's the color I want my hair. So we're in for major transformation. You need petroleum jelly. Okay, you guys, so I'm at my bathroom counter. This is my counter. I lay the towel across this part because I don't want to make a mess. And if I do, of course, it's red dye. I just don't want to take any chances. So if anything falls, it'll fall on the counter. So I have the little setup. It's not exactly arranged right now, but it's okay. I don't need it to be right now. But I have the regular dye mixing bowl. I have a plastic bowl in case I need a separate one. I'm probably gonna go straight in and use this one. I have 30 volume developer. I'm pretty sure I'm not using this. I'm just gonna use the 40 because I need more power. I have my set of gloves. Make sure you use gloves. Saw someone else dye their hair today. Their hands were completely red, so use gloves. I have the dyes right here. I have a rat tail comb, a big chunky comb, my other phone clips, a bottle of water, because you know, thirsty. It's six o'clock p.m., sweetie. And yeah, this is my charger. Let me move that. Don't want to dye that red and hair bows to section my hair. So let's get it started. Part my hair. I'm just gonna part my hair with the, with my fingers. Like I don't really care about it being straight or anything. Turn around so y'all can see this step. We gotta first put the gloves on. So get some gloves on it, but I got this from Amazon. Also, I have all this stuff, if not all this stuff for sure, this and the Kiss Red Velvet linked in the description box because that's where I got those from. Okay, cause read the directions. When you take the cap off, it's like that. The cap got this little pointer thing. You put it up there and you press it and it punctures it. Boom, you. That's it. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Two of the dyes, any type of Vaseline and apply that to your roots so that it won't dye your scalp. I kinda don't mind like it's tinting my scalp a little bit. But as far as like the OD, some people be messy with the dye to be all the way down here. No, so as far as all the way down here and stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and apply Vaseline. I just rubbed it across my forehead. All I gotta say is, like I said before, don't worry about how I look now because I'm a bad bitch and I'm gonna look good in the end. I'm gonna turn this vent on and in this part, I'm just gonna have to do a voiceover too. I'm only gonna show y'all like one part in the back. But the color is on. This is how much we got left. Now I'm gonna go into the front. Y'all, so I was taking off my glove right on my right hand and I sweep some dye up here. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? But um, I'm just laying out. I got this one section right here that, need, that needs to be done. This is how much dye is left, so I need to make the last box. So actually, those three bottles will be enough. Hopefully, I see some changes. Hopefully, start changing colors more. Um, I don't even think y'all can tell, but as you can see, it's still pretty much darker. I for sure want it lighter than this. Okay, y'all, so my hair is starting to get brighter. I feel like it's starting, excuse me. I do feel like it started to deposit. Hold on, because y'all can see it a little bit. I do feel like it's starting to deposit now. Actually sink in. Um, I just finished it. I basically have this much left. I might just go ahead and pile all this on too. Um, it does look pretty good, my roots, that it's depositing, but um, I might go ahead and wipe off the roots because I don't want them to get any brighter. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna do a 360 for y'all. Hopefully y'all can see it with the ring light off and my other light off. And then now another 360. 
with the ring light on. So like I said, I got this much dye left. I'm just gonna slap this on. I already went through basically trying to slap it on, but I'm gonna try it again and try to just get the rest of this on because I don't wanna waste any dye. This, this little bit will aid in the outcome being better than I'm for sure with it. One glove and I rub it and I'm just rubbing it across the top. Um, even though the cap hasn't been on yet, I'm not fine with just rinsing it out because I don't want it to look like this and look good. Cause like, it's not even paying off how good it looks. And I don't want it to look like this and I think it's good enough right now. And then I take the, and then I rinse it out and it don't look like this, it's still darker. Like I want it to be the perfect tone, but as far as my roots, I feel like my roots are good enough, but yeah. So I'm just trying to deposit the last of this dye around my head, make sure I get every spot. And yeah. I love how dyes um, bring out the curl pattern. Like it's so cute. Like heat damage too. Also keep in mind, I did have my grandma flat iron my hair about a month ago for the first time in like five, six, seven, eight years. And I have no heat damage whatsoever. That is amazing. Yeah, it looks like it matches it. You can tell that it matches it better inside the mirror. But I don't want to take any chances on it actually not being dark enough once I rinse it out. Okay, y'all, that's it. I'm done. I'm feeling it though. <laughs> Bitch, put the fucking cap on. Okay, are you excited? Because I'm excited. Okay, I got the cap, by the way, so I don't talk shit yet. Okay, but are you excited? Because I'm excited. It does be it. <laughs> I'm gonna try color brows. <laughs> yes, I am. You heard it here. You heard it here first. Not only you heard it here first, as if I invented them, because clearly I ha I did it. I'm not the first person to do it, but I'm saying you heard it here first that I am gonna try it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try it. So, I'm putting another cap on. So, at this point, fuck it. If my roots look like Ronald McDonald, so what? Okay, y'all, I know it's dark right now. I'm finna go in the bathroom and turn the light on, but I've been sitting here. I'm sorry talking so fast, but I've been literally sitting here for 20 minutes and I have not seen my hair yet. I'm so scared, but we're finna turn this light on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all think the color deposited? Do y'all think the colors are positive? Let me just flip it. Do y'all think the colors are positive? Okay, because it ain't that purplish color no more. It most definitely looks brighter. I think I'm gonna let it sit some more, y'all. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so we're re we've relocated to the kitchen. Um, I'm gonna wash my hair out in my sink. Okay, y'all, so this is how my hair is looking for the lighting um, in the kitchen. I didn't feel like bringing the ring light, but this is how my hair is looking since I took the cap off. So I just finished rinsing the dye out. Oh my gosh, this is my hair. I look so bad right now, but this is my hair. It's so bright. Okay, so when I just fluffed it over, I like it better, but oh my gosh, the front, it's so bright. <sighs> Y'all really just got my real wrong reaction. Look at my roots compared to the rest. I look so bad right now, but OMG, this is my hair. Oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, like I like the color of like this, this is bomb. I love it. It's just the front that's like throwing me off, but it really ain't even the front itself. It's just the roots, not like the whole front. You can most definitely see that brighter than the rest. Okay. Y'all just got the real of our reaction. I don't even think I'm gonna post it because I look so bad, but y'all really just got my whole reaction. I'm not gonna say, I hate it or it looks bad. I'm just gonna say like, it just threw me off, okay? It's most definitely giving 
Ronald McDonald on the sides and then the front is nice and purple. Like y'all see that, y'all see the difference. Look at this, the ponytail. How the ponytail is burgundy and this is red. Let me go in the bathroom. I was not ready, okay? When they say, I wasn't ready. Bitch, I was not ready. What the fuck? Shout out to me for taking my time and going through. Oops. My roots match it perfectly. Hey Alexa, pause the music. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm in the process of shampooing and conditioning my hair. So my wash process consists of me first conditioning my hair because I do that to soften my hair before I actually go in with shampoo because shampoo is actually very drying. So I go in with conditioner first, rub it all throughout my hair, then I rinse it out. Then I put shampoo on, cleanse it. I normally only wash with shampoo once. I don't really care to shampoo it twice because of how drying it is. And then I go back in with conditioner, but whenever I go in with conditioner the second time, cause you know I condition, shampoo, then condition. So the second time I condition, um, I don't rinse it out. I just leave it in. And that's my wash process. It's worked for me. I've been doing this to my hair for years. As you can see, my shampoo is pink, but um, this time I actually went in twice with shampoo, only because I colored it and I, don't have a set shampoo and conditioner that I use. I just got, I just use what's in my sink. Um, I don't even wash my hair often either. I wash my hair about two to three months apart. Um, dirty hair grows and it works for me, that process. So I don't care about <laughs> any kind of tips in the comments. It's not needed, I'm fine. I'm good over here. But um, I'm just, just gonna show y'all the, um, this is the conditioner I just use for now. Like I said, don't quote me on these, use your own. This is just what I have, so this is what I'm using. But I used the Dove conditioner first. Then I went in with this shampoo. Now I can say I pretty much used Pantene and what's the one that starts with a J or is that Pantene too? I can pretty much say I've used Pantene like majority of my life. Cause that's what my grandma uses and she's a hairstylist. And yeah, she did my hair up until I became a freshman at high school. That's when I started doing my own hair. But um, then I went in with this shampoo only because it says color care shampoo. And it says for color treated and frizzy hair, vibrant color up to 40 washes. So that's what I went in with the second time. As you can see, the shampoo turned pink. So yeah, I don't want this strip in my hair of any possible color. I'm just checking in with y'all real quick before I rinse it out so i'm gonna rinse this out i'm gonna put conditioner on my hair then i'm gonna dry it then i'm gonna stop okay y'all so sorry for the vent in the back but um i need the vent circulating in here because i'm gonna get hot while doing my hair and i just rather not go through that but so this is my hair i feel like the second conditioner the one that's supposed to be for colored hair and it says vibrant color for up to 40 washes you see it right there um, y'all saw how pink that shampoo was and whenever I rinsed it out, a whole lot of color came out with it. Well, I'm gonna say a whole lot, but color came out with it. The water was red, tinted red. Too much for my liking. And I gotta say, um, I feel like it did take, it took some of the color with it. So, bitch you lied and I'm never using it again. Yeah, I do feel like I wanna, I feel like I wanna, um, dye my hair a second time, but mainly focus on the ends and stuff. Cause I actually kind of like this color right here. Um, maybe like a shade in between. Okay y'all, so this is my hair blow dried. Um, I just went ahead and blow dried it. It didn't take me long at all. Um, my blow drying technique doesn't take me long. But when I blow dried the back, and this is how the color looks dry, you see this right here is like kind of brighter than that right there. But I like it. I feel like this right, I feel like the shampoo rinsed out some of the color, especially up in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started on the hair. So I'll be back to y'all later after I find my romance and get started. I'm gonna show y'all a couple of them and that's the tutorial. The streets just called. They said her name ain't Tiandra no more, it's Dosage. Yeah, call her Dosage. She said she had dropped all her hoes, but now it's time she about to pick them back up. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. I'm back bitches, call me Dennis Rodman. Call me Dennis Rodman. Call me a bad bitch, okay? Address me by bad bitch or don't address me at all. Period. Okay? I did that. Makeup, hair, colored brows. If y'all want a colored brow tutorial, let me know. If y'all want that Raleigh Twist tutorial, 
drop some red hearts in the comment because I got y'all. It's on the way. But it ain't going to come until y'all put some urgency in there, okay? So spam me if you made it this far. Because per, I'm such a baddie. And I did that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I love y'all. If you trap Navy, show some love, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.